It's like your own personal defense system, you know? Don't get too close. Yeah! Yeah! Hello! So the topic of today's video is slightly different than my other videos, um, and slightly more intimate. When I first started dressing vintage, which was five or six years ago now, one of the things I was kind of swearing off was the pointed boobs. <laughs> because that is a very well-known aspect of the 40s and 50s. I knew that vintage style was always going to seem sort of like a costume and that people would be curious as to what play I'm in or if I'm dressing up for a special occasion. So I think I figured that pointy boobs would just accentuate that. And not to mention I never really wanted to draw attention to that area. Um, and when you got really sharp, pointy torpedo tits. Uh, the more I am exploring vintage fashion and the more research I'm doing, bullet bras and that silhouette helps sell vintage style way more. I have some sweaters and even this that would look way more vintage if I was wearing the proper undergarments. Another reason I never really delved into that or talk about it on this channel is because I am not an expert. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to undergarments. So generally I usually stick to what I know and I was not really too psyched about the idea of doing a video about underwear. <laughs> but you know what? Screw it. Because I do think it's an important topic to talk about when you're delving into vintage fashion and I never really saw anyone talk about it when I was starting and I think for me seeing a comparison of what an outfit would look like with a modern bra versus a bullet bra and just compare the silhouettes and see if it actually does help sell the illusion. So yeah, we're doing a video about bras. So please enjoy this very brief informational break. So from what I can gather, the bullet bra came into existence because it was a time in women's fashion where they wanted to actually accentuate their bust line instead of suppress it like they did in the 1920s. The actual first bullet bra came into production in 1949 by Maiden Form, and it was made popular by Hollywood starlets such as Marilyn Monroe and Lana Turner, who would wear them over sweaters and also coining the term sweater girls. There's images of a more subtle bullet bra and then others that are more exaggerated. <laughs> Welcome back. So the bra that I got is from What Katie Did. Basically, if you follow any pinup models on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you're probably gonna hear that brand name. So I thought I would give it a try. It was a little expensive. When it comes to bras, I am one of those stick to what I'm comfortable in. Um, the bra I wear most often is from H&M about eight years ago. I figured if I, you know, divided the price by the past eight years that I haven't bought a new bra, it's totally worth it. So let me show you the bra that I did purchase. They had a few different options for bullet bras on their site, and to be honest, I originally was looking for one that probably wouldn't be super pointy. <laughs> Maybe a 6.2 on the pointy boob level. Um, I wish that was a search criteria on their website. This is the cathedral style. I never thought I'd be doing this in a YouTube video. Hello. They had a lot of other different styles, but to be honest, this was kind of the most visually appealing to me. It's just basic black and then it has circle effect, which is really common in vintage bras. So that's really cool. Um, and then it kind of has like a mesh and then I like this part. It's cool. And the thing is, it's definitely a different shape than what I'm used to or what most people now are used to, which is interesting how the idea of what's sexy can change. There's not much lifting action going on or, you know, pushing. <laughs> but it definitely does give that 1950s shape. Hey neighbors. It's not that kind of video. <laughs> what I thought I would do is try on a couple different outfits with my modern bra versus vintage inspired one and see if it makes a difference and how much the silhouette changes. All right, so starting off with the outfit that I'm wearing right now, this is with a modern bra. 
a new one, not my eight-year-old one. Look at me adulting. So this is a modern shirt that just kind of looks vintage. I'm curious to see in those kind of situations if a vintage bra will help make it look even more vintage than it already does. Science. All right, so modern bra. So here is the same outfit with the vintage bra. Ooh, ooh, that's pointy. From the sides, it definitely gives a more vintage feel. From the front, I don't know if it's just this style of bra or if this is kind of what the style is supposed to be, but it does make me a little wider up here. Now granted, this is not the most flattering outfit on my waist, and I think that's also a big key of bullet bra is, you know, they'd have these big pointy chests and then itty bitty waists. So I think if I was to either wear a different outfit that's more flattering on, you know, this area, or if I were to wear a corset, I think that's another part of shapewear. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just kind of picking and choosing. I actually kind of like it with the suspenders because it <laughs> detracts from the sharpness of the boob. Outfit number one, Lady Adventurer with pointy boobs. Booby traps. <laughs> It's like your own personal defense system, you know? Don't get too close. Yeah! Yeah! I can cry baby. Okay. Speaking of cry baby, now this outfit you have probably never seen me wear on YouTube because it is a little risque. So I initially got it because it reminds me of Wanda from Cry Baby. I am curious to see what a vintage shape would do to this dress. It's a little tight up here, which again is usually why I don't wear it. We shall see what a difference that bra makes. This one was a bit of a fail. You know, it's a learning experience. I don't think so. Get down. Can you like lay down then? Or like sit or something? Now I have an audience. This is weird. Hi. Basically what I'm kind of gathering is that this dress is a little too tight to even show the point of the boob. I was hoping for a very dramatic Wanda Woodworth moment. Our bazooms are our weapons. Okay, so the next outfit is a good example of kind of the sweater girl look, which is pretty infamous for having the pointy chesticles. Ew, not using that again. This is it with a modern bra. It kind of just smooshes with these kind of sweaters. Here's that same outfit with the vintage bra. It definitely helped with the smooshage. Sh smooshage. And this is nice because it's honestly pretty subtle and I don't feel like the mom from Hocus Pocus. Again, it does make me look pretty wide up top. It also doesn't help that I'm kind of broad shouldered too. So next outfit, another sweater. I haven't worn this sweater in a very long time because I find it very unflattering on me. This sweater is actually from the 50s. Essentially, it is meant to be worn with that kind of bra. We'll see what the difference is. So here's that same outfit with the new bra. It definitely helps with the vintage vibe a little bit more. I still don't really like it that much. It's kind of giving me like drag queen vibes, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, in terms of being flattering for my figure. All right, so this outfit is very 50s fun outfit. So this is a collective sweater, so it's not actually vintage, but it's vintage inspired. Hopefully with the other bra, it will look actually vintage. So I actually quite like how it looks with this sweater. It's still not the most flattering. Again, I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel very, ugh. Actually quite amazing how far apart this bra makes them look. So I'm not really sure what the solution to that problem is. Quite literally there is a wire going like that. So it is pretty much physically separating them. I think I'm gonna try on a couple more flattering outfits and see if it changes my mind a little. This is one of the more flattering dresses I own. So this is it with a modern bra. And I think it works just as well with a modern bra, but this is for science. So we're gonna give it a try. 
This is definitely better than what I've been trying. I think because right here is so flattering on this dress. The silhouette is really nice. Ooh, <laughs> you being a rebel. Come on, up. Ooh, I warned ya. I warned ya. Oh, now what? So the last dress I'm gonna try is just this one. I think it's from the 50s, 60s maybe. And this is with a modern bra and you know, it's fine. So here it is again. Definitely is helping with that vintage silhouette. And again, I also think it's helping that it's cinched in at the waist. Not quite sure what my hypothesis is right now. <laughs> Seems to be different with every single piece of clothing that I tried on. But my overall thoughts are that yes, it definitely does help with the silhouette. And if you are just trying to make an outfit look extra vintage-y. I think that a bullet bra can really really help with that. Now I want to love mine and chances are good that I got the wrong size <laughs> because like I said I am not an expert in undergarments um, and that includes sizing and band size and all that stuff and there's a very good possibility that the same size that I got for my modern bra is not the same size that I should have gotten for this. I think that if it was less wide, I would love it a whole lot more, but I think it's just making me feel real weird. <laughs> I just wanted to make a video about this because number one, I was curious about it myself and I hadn't tried it on with any of my outfits. And number two, I know that it can be kind of a iffy subject for people that are venturing into vintage style, at least that's how it was for me. I might have fluffed it up because it might not be the right size, but you know. <laughs> Do you expect any better of me? That's the real question. I love you guys, whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload twice a week and we have fun here. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <clears throat> How now, brown cow? <clears throat> <clears throat> it's like I'm starting a car. It's still remixed to ignition. <laughs> okay. Is that too much? Probably. And the sun's gonna come out. Nope, now it's gonna go away. The sun is killing me. Make up your mind. I'll be good in a day or two. I'm not sure how it will work with the spe- Oh, no, 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 let me, just let me hold him. No. <laughs> let me, just let me hold him. So I'm interesting. <laughs> yeah. Squeaky floor. I think that a bullet bar can- Bullet bar. That is why we conduct these experiments. That is why we conduct these. That is why we conduct. Okay. So pointy.